Is Muay Thai actually any good when it comes to the streets? Well, yes and no. It depends on how you use it. Sure, pure Muay Thai against a person with no training is great. However, against an Olympic wrestler who wants nothing more but to double leg slam you into the ground so hard you travel back in time, it may not be so easy. But how often are you really going to come across an Olympic wrestler? That being said, it's still important to know the gaps in your martial art. I often hear, it's not the martial art, but how well the practitioner uses the martial art to his or her's advantage. This couldn't be more true for Muay Thai. The point in this video wasn't to bash martial arts for the gaps in their style, but rather emphasize to use the style's strengths to your advantage. If you are a skilled Muay Thai fighter, you will not let someone close enough to take you down. But if you do get taken down, there isn't anything in the Muay Thai arsenal to help you. This is why it's important to cross train other styles, especially the styles that fill in the gaps that your current martial art might miss. You must prepare yourself for each stage that the fight could end up at. Fighting is dynamic, and it's not just a boxing fight. You could be swinging punches at each other, you could be wrestling, and then you could be ground fighting. If you want to dominate in all aspects of fighting, you must fill in the gaps. But don't panic, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to fill in the gaps of Muay Thai. Number one, learn the basics of grappling. Now either join a gym that prioritizes grappling, or at least just learn how to sprawl. Two, spar MMA. You don't have to do this every week, just do it every now and then, just to expose yourselves to different styles as not everyone fights like a Muay Thai fighter. This is especially true in a street fight as most people aren't trained and will move chaotically and won't throw perfect roundhouses. Three, it's important to acknowledge that they acknowledge the effect boxing gloves have. Obviously, we can't punch each other in the face without gloves when training striking. That would just be dumb. But it's important to acknowledge that boxing gloves do hinder you. It's essentially a big pillow for your hand and it gives you a big surface area to block an incoming attack. Sometimes we see fighters who have been used to big boxing gloves their entire career move into MMA where the gloves are much smaller and therefore punches slip through the guard much easier. Now the solution to this would be either train with smaller gloves or just train your defense more and get it as perfect as possible. Okay geezers, that's another video from your boy. Leave a comment below if you think I missed anything or if you just straight up disagreed with me. I read every single comment and I just love talking about this shit. If you want to start martial arts but you're unsure how to tell if a gym is good or bad, check out my last video. Till the next one. See you next Tuesday.